Part 1 Harley Quinn's past was as checkered as her tights. She had been obnoxious, mischievous, and even worse, a member of the Joker's gang of criminals. <laughs> Fortunately, behind her devilish diamond-decorated duds, there beat a heart of gold. Her good behavior at Arkham Asylum was about to pay off in spades. In Dr. Leyland's office, Harley sat patiently in patient-issue pajamas. You've made wonderful progress, Dr. Leyland said proudly. Tomorrow you'll be released mentally sane and sound. Harley leapt and bounded like a loony cheerleader. Yay! 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 But then she composed herself. The new Harley Quinn had a lot to prove to her doctor, the people of Gotham, and most important, herself. Suddenly, a familiar voice surprised them. Unhand me! shouted Professor Jonathan Crane, also known as the Scarecrow. Dr. Leyland sighed. I just wish the other inmates could make your sort of progress, she said to Harley. Out in the hallway, Batman and Robin were escorting Crane back into Arkham Asylum. I am the master of fear, the lord of despair. Cower before me in witless terror. Hi, Professor Crane. Good evening, child. Worship me, fools! Worship me! Scream hosannas of anguish to Scarecrow, the all-terrible god of fear! I think he's getting better. After two orderlies took Crane away, Batman congratulated Harley on her release. Defiant as ever, she snapped at him. Yeah, so I made a few mistakes, she admitted. But I've got my head back together now, and I'm going to live my life right. Batman moved closer, his grip tightening. For your sake, I hope so, he said sternly. <coughs> Harley sighed. She had a lot to prove to Batman, too. The next day, the people of Gotham City gasped. There was a new terror in town. It had gnashing teeth, sharp claws, ferocious growls, and roller skates. <coughs> Harley and her hounds had no problem clearing a path. And a problem was the last thing she wanted on her first day of freedom. But when she saw her reflection, she realized that she had a material problem indeed. Ah! Gee, what's wrong with that? Knew I shouldn't have worn this outfit. It's so out of style, it's growing mold. I probably look like a total geek. <laughs> Bruce Wayne always hated to try on clothes, but to his girlfriend, Veronica Vreeland, that was no excuse for being out of fashion. Harley Quinn was as clumsy as she was curious. Ooh. But Veronica thought that was no excuse at all for Harley to wrap herself in Bruce's arms. When Harley told her who she was, Veronica had heard enough. She dragged Bruce away, even though Harley told her she was cured. At the counter, Harley paid for her new dress. She knew she still had a lot to prove. If only people would give her a chance. That's not so much to ask, is it? Harley said as she rolled away. By mistake, the security tag was still stuck to her dress. <coughs> Suddenly she heard a painfully familiar sound. A security alarm. <coughs> hey, what's the deal? She screeched. It was a deal, all right. A bad deal. And when life gave Harley lemons, she made bitter lemonade for everyone. With a whack of a mannequin's arm, Harley gave a security guard a taste of her sour vengeance. Outside, a shower of glass and mannequin parts crashed onto the sidewalk. Veronica waited by the car as Bruce raced back into the store. Bruce ran up to Harley's dressing room, pleading with her to come out so she could clear her name. But... True to her old reputation, Harley burst out of the stall, bedecked in wild black and red regalia, eyes ablaze, aching for anarchy. Miss? Please, I'm sure this has all been a simple misunderstanding. You don't want to mess things up on your first birthday out, do you? Miss? I tried to play by the rules, but no! straight society is to blame back off rich boy i'm on <laughs>
the reckless, explosive Harley Quinn was back, and now she had something else to prove entirely. Outside, Harley found the recipe for the perfect getaway, a fast car and a rich hostage. Of course, her devilish dogs were eager to join the fun. Within seconds, the end of Harley's new beginning was in high gear. The race to catch her was on. When Bruce saw Detective Bullock ready to lead the chase, he knew that only Batman could save Harley from finishing last with a life term at Arkham. Part 2 In Commissioner Gordon's office, General Freeland was furious. He wanted action, not good intentions. He wanted his daughter Veronica back safely. He didn't want to hear about standard police procedure. He wanted to give orders. The moment Gordon turned his back, the general telephoned for some military might. <coughs> Meanwhile, Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson prepared to stop Harley as Batman and Robin. Like General Vreeland, Batman and Robin had their own procedure, but they also knew what it was like to be misunderstood. And they knew Harley better than anyone, maybe even better than she did herself. They agreed not to condemn her yet. Robin switched on the Batmobile scanner. Seconds after a blip flashed on the screen, Harley's getaway car raced by. Detective Bullock followed in hot pursuit. <coughs> Batman and Robin immediately joined the chase. Up ahead, Bullock tried his best to keep up with Harley's mindless maneuvers, but she kept eluding him. <coughs> when he crashed his car again, the Batmobile passed. It made him even more determined to catch Harley first, but she wasn't about to stop. Not for Veronica's money, and not for Batman and Robin. Soon, though, something would sway her. You sort this out before it gets worse. Sure, like you helped poor Professor Crane last night. Sorry, boys. You ain't taking me back to Arkham. I'm gonna get that little kook if it's the last thing I ever do! Off Harley's trail, Batman and Robin checked their scanner again. The blip headed to Gotham's south side. <coughs> Probably to someone who can hide her until the heat's off, Batman theorized. Sure enough, in a seedy warehouse, Harley was visiting the only person she knew who wasn't behind bars. But Boxy Bennett wasn't happy to see her. Like everyone else, he remembered her as a troublemaker. Harley needed Boxy's help, even if it meant smooching the fishy, dice-throwing gangster. But for Boxy, sweetness only went so far. He wanted to ransom Veronica. Hmm. When Harley refused, Boxy got meaner. When Boxy threatened Harley, Batman appeared. <coughs> You've stuck your cape into my business for the last time, Boxy barked at the Dark Knight. Suddenly, a scaly rebuke knocked Boxy to the ground. Robin was there, too. Boxy was embarrassed and infuriated. <gasps> Take them, boys, he yelled. Orders given, the thugs pursued Batman and Robin through the warehouse. But the henchmen had no idea what they were getting into. When it was all over, the warehouse floor was littered with ice, fish, and unconscious crooks. Get him! Get him! Freak, or 
dame's history. Get your own hostage. Meanwhile, as Harley tried to escape with her hostage, a hook-holding henchman stopped them. But his hardware was no match for Harley's cork-springing pop gun. <clears throat> Unfortunately, her toy was no match for the real thing. Mad and menacing, Boxy stood in their path. Harley had a secret weapon, though. Actually, she had two secret, very special weapons. And they were only a scream away. Any last words? Just one. Babies! Play nice with your new chew toy. Part 3. Boxy may have been a tough guy, but to Harley's dogs, he was nothing but a choice chew toy. They were sorry to see him scramble free. <coughs> Boxy's henchmen were tough, too, but when they awakened, they would realize that Batman and Robin were far tougher. As for Harley, well, at least Veronica had learned that her sad, clownish kidnapper was anything but hard-boiled inside. <coughs> Let's make a deal, Veronica said as they sped away. You get me out of this alive and I'll drop any charges. Harley was amazed. It seemed like no one had ever given her an even break. Not the police, not Batman and Robin, not the criminal underworld, not even store clerks. But while Veronica struck a fair bargain, her father had planned another kind of strike. For the first time today, I think things are finally looking up. Daddy or no daddy, Harley wasn't about to hand over her hostage. She knew none of her other pursuers were about to give up either. Once she made it to Gotham City Square, she was even more discouraged. At every turn, down every alley, around every corner, there seemed to be no escape. Finally, she saw an open intersection, but it was about to become very closed. Batman and Robin arrived to see everyone but Harley and Veronica crawling out of the rubble. The street looked like a junkyard. Suddenly, Veronica landed in Robin's arms. When everyone looked up, Harley was waving at them from up high. Bye! Batman quickly followed. Meanwhile, the general embraced his daughter. Robin had Boxy squirming on the pavement, and Detective Bullock, soaked and seething, got himself a true outlaw. High above Gotham Square, Batman searched for Harley. He wanted to help her. Suddenly, she pounced on him from the dark. You're so close to winning back your real life. Why risk it now? I'm having a bad day. I'm sick of people trying to shoot me, run me over, and blow me up! I didn't even get to keep my... Dress, and I actually 
actually paid for it! But he wouldn't fight. He would only talk. And Harley hated that. Higher up, she screamed, screamed him. I tried to be good, I really did. But if that's not good enough, fine. She pulled out a Joker bomb and yanked its pin. <clears throat> Let's get back to basics. Before she could hurl the terrible toy, Batman knocked it away with his Batarang. The explosion sent Harley on a head-over-heels, stomach-turning tumble. From scaffold to billboard, from springy spoon to snapping straw, from frightening freefall to the safety of Batman's arms. Harley's final stunt convinced her she should give up. She collapsed over his shoulder, the final wreckage of her rampage strewn around them. Back at Arkham Asylum, Batman and Robin released Harley to Dr. Leland. There was good news, though. Just as she promised, Veronica had dropped the charges. When Dr. Leland heard how Harley had saved the woman from Boxy, she was sure that Harley could be released soon, for good. <coughs> Best of all, Batman handed her the dress she tried to buy that morning. Harley was so happy, she gave Batman a kiss. And then another. <laughs> Call me. Don't press your luck. Looking at.